of the last things Jesus says to His men and women at the Last Supper is a new commandment I give to you, that you live in love with one another as I have lived and loved you. I want you to do this for each other. In fact, it's by this difference in you that all people will know you are my disciples if you continue to love one another. How many of us live in the love of our Lord? Really? How do you know? I was reading Charlie Brown's today, or this past week, and of course old Charlie Brown's standing on the pitcher's mound in his hat, and he's getting ready to pitch the ball, and he's and he's afraid. And the game, in the first picture, he's standing on the mound, and he's thinking to himself, uh, "Here we go, another season." And he says, I live in the love of God, for the love of God is my strength. And the next thing he pitches, and of course the ball comes flying straight back at him, and he's up flying around in the air, and all his hat and shirts, everything are coming off. And then he hit the last frame, he's all crumpled on the ground, he goes, the love of God is my strength, but those line drives will kill you. <laughs> Do we really live in the love of God? I wonder sometimes, especially when the line drives come at us. And life hits a lot of those. Sometimes it's at work. Sometimes it's in your relationship. Sometimes it's in your own body. As your health fails and things start to go wrong or kids go bad. It's just life can be difficult. Question is, where does the love of God shine in us then? It's easy to be a happy Christian on the sunny days when all is well. The lawn is mowed, the flowers are blooming, the kids have got straight A's. But what about when all that fails? And sometimes it's even our bodies that fail. And we wake up the next day facing, you know, a real hard day. The next 24 hours. We're going to study the love of God today and sometimes when the line drives come straight at us and how we can live and what we can do to keep the love of God shining in our lives even on the difficult days. First I want you to stand up one more time. We're going to sing